Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech, and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPhone 4.0 developer preview to the previous uh, iPhone 3.1.3. Now there's a few reasons you might want to do that. It could be buggy, uh, could present all sorts of little problems. Uh, the first two betas were really buggy. In fact, I found the second uh, update to be more buggy than the first. Uh, the third beta, which this is right now, um, is better and I've been using it and uh, I guess the downgrade will work for all of this so I figured I'd show you how to do that and uh, hopefully uh, this will help you out if you want to go back to the original so let's go ahead and get that started let me switch over the screen here to make this a little easier okay so you're gonna download these two files which I'll give you before this and you're gonna install it it's uh, library USB and iRecovery to make it easy, place them on your desktop because you're going to want them there for later use. Uh, so you've got them on the desktop, you're installing, and um, put in your password here. Once you've got the password, you click OK, and um, it'll install. Excuse that. So to go into the restore, you're going to hold Alt Option and go to install, go to uh, click restore, and it will give you this option. And I'm going through this quickly, uh, but you're going to navigate into your iTunes library, into your software updates, and you're looking for the 3.1.3 version of Software Restore. And you're going to go ahead and hit Choose. Now it's going to try and uh, restore just like any other iPhone update, and it's going to fail. And when it does that, on um, on your iPhone here, you'll get the connect to iTunes thing and you'll see an error come up. And we'll wait for that. You'll see the error after. And what we're going to do uh, while we're waiting for this is uh, once it's done, we're going to open Terminal. And you'll see that here in just a moment. We're going to open Terminal and enter some commands. And it will take us a second here. And um, so you're going to go into Terminal, and I left them up on the screen so you can see the commands right there in order. Uh, we're using Mac Life's uh, f uh, instructions. So this is CD space desktop. We're going to put that in, and then we're going to put dot slash reco I recovery. Make sure it's capitalized just like it is in there. Space dash S. We're going to hit return. Then we're going to type in a little bit longer. It's S-E-N, or uh, S-E-T-E-N-V space auto dash boot space true. And uh, that'll take just a second. You'll see that. Then we're going to type FS boot. Enter, or return rather. Then we're going to hit exit. And obviously, as you can see, this is Mac instructions. Uh, there is, uh, I guess there's Windows instructions, but we're just covering the Mac. Exit. That's it. You'll see we'll go back to iTunes here and we'll actually have a um, uh, an error dialog. We'll just click OK to that. The update's pretty easy, but you do need to install those two things. So we go back to iTunes. Uh, you saw the error. We just bypassed that. And now once it comes back up, we'll be able to restore. That's pretty much it. You restore and you'll see this. So uh, what it's going to do, though, is <clears throat> to make this easier for you, is you're going to uh, get that once it restores fully you'll get the connect to iTunes logo it's gonna lock up you're gonna reset the iPhone by holding the home button and the top button once it reboots to the Apple you can let go reboot plug it in and restore that's really all there is to it that's pretty much it so uh, as you can see pretty easy to do I went through it very quickly um, but really didn't need to take a lot of time just wanted to show you that it does work. Uh, I have done that myself. Works great. Restores. You'll be right back to working. No problems. I ran into zero problems. So uh, check it out. Uh, let me know if you have any issues. Uh, if you run into anything different. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.